Alright, May 13th, Monday. Noon 01 is the time. Alright, it's the last boat, so the model, nobody in the room. How did I get, how did I lose a couple of thousand dollars? When I started this thing, it was 40, 40, 40, 77. So how did I lose 8,000 dollars or something? Oh well. End of the boat race, uh, 709 here in the evening, coming up in GTA. Take me a break after this for lunch break or whatever. Yes. This is my 420 run. I did my meth last night. Yeah, this is the best run. This is the biggest lab other than the nightclub. Well, the biggest business maker other than the nightclub. I wouldn't put the bunker in this list because the bunker is much, much harder to do compared to everything. So I'd have to say, in terms of making money, use the nightclub, the bunker, then the coke, then the meth. But in cases of Productivity wise, I have to kick the bunker out because I can only do one out of eight deliveries that they give you in the bunker, so I don't like working the bunker. But this time it's double money on the bunker, so you know, even if I could shuffle around to get the two Mack trucks, I'd still probably break even. I'm actually hoping that it just lets me out without a problem. Um, let me go about my business. There we go, man. Finally over with. I did make a few extra dollars over the 420 because of the delivery bonuses. Uh, <clears throat> but not that much. So let's see what it is. I made $15,000 more. club <clears throat> no spawn to the hangar I'm just going to go ahead and 
uh, bring my dad on bike home. I didn't want to do that shit. She had money. Their arguments grew heated enough that the police got involved. When we would have domestic disputes, sometimes it would be a neighbor to call. By the end of 2001, 22-year-old Kiana had moved out. We weren't living together, but we were still seeing each other. And from what I understand, she was back and forth with friends and so forth. And Clinton figured that it would be best if they both moved on. I knew for sure that if we continued to have domestic problems, that my career was going to suffer. And at first, he was pretty mad about it, but uh, it, it wound up being, well, that's okay. I found me somebody new. The man Kiana had found was an Air Force sergeant named Perry Jennings, Jr. He was seven years older than Kiana, and no one who knew him called him Perry. He's always been called PJ his entire life, seeing him small. That's what we all called him. And unlike Kiana, he'd had a stable, uneventful childhood. He liked things like chess and reading. He was quiet, and he was very into computer games and this type of things. After high school, PJ had joined the Air Force. He got away from, from here and uh, got to see some of the world and met different people and was exposed to different things. And that's when he kind of started to, to be a little bit more outgoing. And by 2001, he was still in the Air Force, living in Algiers and serving as a sort of mentor to his little brother and his circle of friends. PJ was like the quintessential big brother, like, you know, super cool, uh, ladies, man, all that sort of stuff. He was like big brother to all of us because he was older than us. He was the person that we called for advice. If we needed anything, he was, he was there. Which more or less explains how he became friends with Kiana Bond. When we first met Kiana, he brought her to my home and uh, he introduced her to me and he kind of told me that, well, she's someone who's in trouble now and needs help. She was a beautiful girl, a pretty girl, but she looked like she had been sleeping on the streets or something, like she was homeless almost. Kiana spent a few weeks sleeping on PJ's couch. He said that Kiana was in a relationship or she was in a marriage and she was being abused and she came to stay with him for a little while. But despite what Kiana had said to her ex-husband about finding someone new, they were only friends. I thought it was odd, but PJ's friend, I guess our friend, you know, I mean, I wouldn't be rude or anything. He was just helping her out until she could find somewhere to stay. It appeared to be just what Kiana needed. And over the next year, she would crash on this couch more than once staying a few weeks each time. So when PJ's mother found him murdered in his bed, people would soon be wondering. 
Did Kiana's troubles have something to do with his death? Coming up, will finding Kiana provide the answers the police desperately need? She couldn't have been involved. Maybe she was just scared and ran. Or will they uncover a dark secret from her past? He had been stabbed multiple times. Rebecca was hanging naked, her hands, eyes, her feet bound, and they declared this as suicide. The hyoid bone was fractured. That is more consistent with manual strangulation. Could it be done by one person? Yes. Could it be done by her? Yes. Then the question is, why is she naked? Death at the mansion, Saturday, June 1st at 6, on Oxygen. with anyone but yourself. Nachos are now a meal with your choice of double the seasoned beef or slow cooked shredded chicken plus a medium drink. The $5 Grande Nachos box, only at Taco Bell. Hi, hey. you made it. Discover new snuffle air fresheners only by Renews It's that special touch for a welcome that smells as good as it feels. Renews it, smells inviting. One, two, here we go. Alive gives you more vitamins and minerals than leading brands. Because when you start with more, you own the morning. Alive. We call it the mother standard of care. It's something we take personally and believe in passionately. It's the idea that if our mothers were diagnosed with cancer, how would we want them to be treated? That's exactly how we care for you. With answers and actions, to hear your concerns, quiet your fears, lift your spirits. With teams of cancer experts and specialists delivering advanced treatment options and compassionate support every step of the way. All here in one place with one purpose, to fight your cancer together. That's the mother standard of care. <laughs> this is how we inspire hope. This is how we heal. Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Appointments available now. At Angie's List, we help you feel confident about hiring pros for home projects. You can check their ratings, read verified reviews, and easily request multiple quotes. Find all the pros you need to know at Angie'sList.com. Discover a new wave of refreshment crafted using our unique Pre-cure process. White Claw Hard Seltzer. Nothing tastes quite like it. On March 27, 2003, the New Orleans police responded to a 911 call from the Algiers neighborhood, across the river from the French Quarter. We got a call over the radio that um, the 4th District had a death and they were requesting the assistance of a homicide investigator. The victim was 30-year-old P.J. Jennings. His mother, brother, 